My name is David Sushil. I am president of Indianomicon. We are a group that, uh, that raises awareness for locally developed Orlando-based video games. Back in 2013, a group of local game developers and academics got together and realized that there was uh, an enormous uh, and growing community of game developers in Orlando that nobody knew about. So we decided to start hosting mo monthly meetups to showcase the really amazing games that were being built here in Orlando. And our first event, I think we had about 20 people show up by accident. And since then we've grown and, and uh, we now have about 100 people that show up on a regular basis to the Melrose Center. We have been running events at the Melrose Center since March of 2014. So today is our ninth uh, official event. Today we are hosting our, our annual expo. So this is a gathering of, of local game developers. Uh, we have 20 exhibitors all together. that are going to be at the Melrose Center showing off their video games, their different projects and creative activities. The Melrose Center has been a fantastic location for Indianomicon. Uh, the staff has been incredibly helpful. The facilities are amazing. We've got room to grow, so we expect that we're going to be utilizing this space for years to come. Uh, and it fits in perfectly with what we're doing. You know, we're, we're showcasing local game developers, and there's this brilliant simulation center, uh, as well as the, the recording studio and the fabrication lab, all stuff that can be utilized by local game developers. We're going to have to go into the future and look back at history books at you know, how it all changed things, but it came at the perfect time. Like the absolute perfect time. <laughs> like We needed you before we knew you existed. And luckily, somebody uh, from, at that time, the upcoming Melrose Center came to an Indianomicon meetup. And they looked around and they were like, oh my god, this is, this is insane. There's so many people here and they're all doing these you know, amazing things with digital media and games and all this stuff like, you know what, we're, we're opening up this thing called the Melrose Center, we'd love to have you, uh, you know, come over. And then when we came you know, to the opening, our mouths just opened up like gaping wide, we're like, this is exactly what we need. This is exactly what we need. Uh, and there's enough space for us to grow. The Melrose Center has really provided a home for local game developers. Uh, through the meetups that Indianomicon has been hosting on a monthly basis, we've given, uh, we've given something like 30 game developers a chance to showcase their games in front of a, a fairly sizable audience. And also they, they have the opportunity to utilize the recording studio and the computer labs uh, and all the other facilities here at the Melrose Center. So studios that maybe uh, normally would operate out of their homes now have a really cool facility that they can use uh, to build their work. So the Melrose Center has affected my life because it provides a welcoming environment where I know I can come and, and work on my creative projects and, and utilize top-notch equipment. There's a very helpful staff that is there to, um, you know, if I have any questions, they're, they're always on hand to help out. So it's a really great environment for, for me to build video games in. You know, upcoming in January uh, at the Melrose Center, we're going to have the Global Game Jam. And, you know, the Global Game Jam is uh, this weekend-long 48-hour uh, hackathon in some ways uh, where you, you have just in a, that short amount of time from scratch building a video game. And video games are these super collaborative, you know, projects where you have to have, you know, art and music and, you know, programming and design and production and, and it's just madness and all these different people, you know, that you sometimes don't even know working together. And this is going to be the third year coming up and it's going to be the biggest and best, I think, because we have a facility uh, like the Melrose Center where we're going to host it. And it has everything that we need. You know, we've we pretty much, you know, being an indie community, you have to do with whatever you have. And sometimes that's nothing but toothpicks and duct tape and, you know, like some way, somehow we got to make it happen. But having, you know, the kind of, you know, like production level, you know, facilities that are here, I'm excited to see what is going to come out, like, and especially with all the talent we have here. So we expect to continue utilizing the, the Melrose Center uh, for the next couple of years. Uh, Indianomicon continues to grow. Uh, but the Melrose Center has, has ample space and we think that we're going to be, uh, we're going to be at the Melrose Center for, for quite a while. We love it. The facilities are just great. Um, you know, every time we run a monthly meetup, it goes off without a hitch. Uh, the technology always works uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's an excellent environment.